y'all doing this Trina if you knew um last week I made this uh apples with the orange and the cinnamon and the cranberries potpourri in the pot <laughs> like a, a fresh potpourri and um I just want to I just want to bring y'all in in and let you see what I um what I did um it was so it smells so good in the house um so I just want you to see what I did and maybe you could try it so I have some apples here that I purchased from Publix as well as two bags of cranberries. I'm not going to use both bags. And some orange. And I have some cinnamon up in the cabinet. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to cut that up and I'll be back. used only two of them. I'm pouring them inside the pot and uh sink. Okay, let me rinse the cranberries off. We use this like a um like a warm tea. Yeah. So I put the cranberries in the orange in and here's the Here's them being poured inside the pot. And um, I thought I had more cinnamon sticks, but apparently I don't. So I'm going to use, um, use some cinnamon uh, powder. Yeah, I'm gonna just give these a little stir so they could be incorporated together. I want to have cranberries on one side and oranges on the other and apples just sitting on top. Isn't this pretty? The orange. I think I need something green in here though. I have some green apples but he was talking about making apple pie so I'm going to put those in there. Alright so that's that and let me put the cinnamon in on top. Then I'm gonna give it another mix. That should be about it. I don't want it to be too much. Now remember if you try this, add a little sugar in it. And don't let everything cook too long because the oranges have a um a way of um uh oh, I just throw that out there. We just have a way of like making the stuff taste too um, riny with the um, with the rind, it's like bitterish. So make sure you let it boil a little bit and then put your sugar and stuff and then. Um, That's if they want to drink it. Yeah, if you want to try it like that. So let me get the water. Pretty much pull this up, y'all. It smells so so good once it starts boiling. I ain't gonna fill it to the tea. Let me put this a little bit on. All right. Don't let it boil and start like let it boil and um and turn it down and let it sort of simmer a little bit, but let it come to a good boil so that. The, it could just uh, just make the house smell good just mm, because it's Christmas time so yeah I'm gonna come back in a little while once it boil and let you all see what mine look like but y'all's may not look like this because you may have the cinnamon 
sticks. That might not matter either because last time when I used the cinnamon sticks, um, it was good. But the cranberries, they're going to pop. And when they pop, it's going to begin to get a little jelly in when you put the sugar, if you put sugar in it now. If you don't put it, don't worry about it. But it's going to just get really nice and um, aromatic in the house and make your house smell real good. So yeah, once again, that's how it looks. And I'll be back to let you all see um, what it's like when it starts boiling. And the cranberries pop in it and whatnot. But all right, see y'all. Okay, y'all, they, they, um, the pot is starting to boil. It's been about five to seven minutes. You see this, it's beginning to pop, I mean boil. And some of the cranberries are popping. See if I could go in a little bit and let you see some of that popped. That's one that popped right there. Right here. You heard that? That one popped too. Somewhere over here. Heard that one? Let me stir it a little bit. See how they done popped? Even this one on the on the spoon. Oh, it smells so good. I wish I had smell a camera. Like they used to say smell a vision. And you could smell how good it smells of cinnamon and the apples and the oranges. The cranberries don't smell that much. They they even really tart because we tried to try we tried one. You know, eating it um fresh. And it was very, very, very tart. That's how the cranberry juice is. But yeah, just let it boil, and once it starts boiling like a good big boil, then you could turn it down and let it simmer, and it'll fragrance the house throughout the day. It smells so good. So yeah, I'm gonna turn it down now so it can start simmer, cause else it's gonna like boil over. So I'm gonna turn it down on low. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you have um watch the video thus far please like comment and subscribe and drop down cranberry if you didn't saw it this far all right thank you guys happy thanksgiving to you ahead of time um and i love you and jesus love you more bye bye